So our main character, Margie, she has lost her job at the dollar store and she's from South Boston and so she reaches out to a friend from her past who got out of the neighborhood to see if he can help her get a job. And it's a slow burn. So I think that you're gonna have a reaction in the car on the way home. And then you're gonna think about it the next morning at breakfast and think maybe something different. And then it's gonna come up again three days for you later. That's been my entire experience working on this show is that I have a very different opinion of it than when I first started this process. Also, the script is set in Boston and all of our actors are from the Midwest. And so we have, we bring this Midwest and Minnesota sensibility to a play that is very East Coast. And that was a challenge for a lot of us to move through when we were in the rehearsal room. Can you do a good Boston accent? Uh, you know, it's been funny. I've been trying to work on my Boston accent a little bit, but I think it's more Brooklyn. Um, and so our dialect coach um, would be uh, not so happy with me <laughs> doing a Boston accent in front of the cast because I, I set a bad example. So some of the things that I found incredibly rewarding in working on this show is that I've gotten to work with four actors who I've never worked with here at the Common Wheel. And also I got to work with Stella and it's her first show back in a long time and it's just been so fun to work with Stella again. You have got to come see Good People because it is so incredibly relevant right now. Um, we are in um, we are in a crisis with inflation and a labor crisis, and with the pandemic just being over. Like I've, even though this play is set in 2012, it feels very 2022. So it's so timely. It's so relevant. It is a riveting drama, but I promise it's going to make you laugh. But it's especially going to make you think.